this is this is great. Um, so I don't know if you saw this tweet that I that I sent out, but so okay. So the tweet the tweet relates to the story I'm about to tell you. So I don't need to tell you what the tweet was. I'm in Walmart. Oh yeah. Yeah. There yes, was... I've been wanting to ask you about this. <laughs> so I'm in Walmart. Yeah. And I'm like, and I and the only reason I even left the house was because I'd been staring through a PlayStation VR headset and at my computer screen and at my television for like three days straight or something. It was it was awful. A better way to clear your mind like, than go to Walmart. Like, huh? I need to get out of the house. Like, I don't even care if I walk around, like, my apartment building or something. <laughs> yeah. But, like, I need some fresh air. I need to stare at something that's not protruding radiation into my eyes for, mm. like, just a few minutes. Right. right? Isolated. And yeah. so, like, if you could have seen me on that day, it was like I, had, I hadn't showered in days. Right? It was just, like, it looked awful. And then and, and, and I just like put on like a big fluffy hoodie, you know, something comforting. And, yeah. I, and I looked in the mirror on my way out and my, my mohawk was just like flat against my face. And I was like, I look like shit. <laughs> yeah. And, and like, let's go to Walmart. I'll yep. fit right in. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, you yeah. will. No Absolutely. ass crack. No, no, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, so, uh, so, and I walk around, I get all my groceries and stuff and I'm just like meandering around the store. Like I am literally not in any hurry whatsoever because this is the, you know, now it's like fucking fluorescent lights too. Oh, those it Walmart lights. Didn't even improve my situation, right? <laughs> I'm like, still, my eyes are still killing me. And, um, and the savings, it must've been overwhelming for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, and so, and then I go to the self checkout, right? And I'm just in a complete bore. I haven't eaten all day. Like I think I had like one banana early in the day and yeah. I'm like, I, was, I even bought like a Walmart pizza. I'm like this is going to be great. <laughs> um, and so I'm doing self checkout and like my brain is so broken that I, I'm like, I can't do math, right? Yeah. I've got a pile of cash in my hand and I'm trying to feed it into the machine and I'm not even <laughs> sure what bills to put in. Yeah. And I hear somebody say something and I look up and there's a dude standing like he's about to walk out of the store, but he's looking at me and I thought he was, uh, was a few people around. It's like, maybe he's not talking to me. So I mm-hmm. gave him kind of a head nod. And I was like, yeah. And I, and I went back to trying to figure out how, wh- what money I should be putting in this machine. And, uh, and it didn't occur to me until like easily 30 seconds later what he said what did he say he said hey man i watch your shows all the time oh no and i was like oh fuck i was like somebody for the first time ever recognized me in public yeah and i didn't even acknowledge his existence and i was like great is this going to set a precedent like brian paul's a fucking douchebag right is it going to spread like wildfire that rumor yeah did he work there no Oh no! You oh. don't have a chance. Well, so if he watches it all the time, it's my only hope. It's mm. My only hope. I tweeted it out. It's like I was like, "Dude, I'm really like sorry." A message in a bottle. But the only like 600 people follow us on Twitter. There are 12,000 subscribers. Only 600 people follow us on Twitter. Yeah. So, uh, so I'm hoping that maybe he just heard the story, and this is my apology. Speaking of which, should yeah. we open the curtain? Oh shit! <laughs> it's that show. It is yeah. that show. Uh, there we go. Uh, there we go. Finally learned to push it all the way off camera. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I didn't realize how tough Michelle had it. Oh, it's a good stretch. It really yeah. is. Yeah, yep. she, she does a lot over there. Uh, you know what? I moved the light switch. Do you mind turning it off? Oh. I'm so yeah. sorry. We had to rewire oh, the whole man. building, man. Thank you very much. No problem. Um, can I make the popcorn now? You absolutely. Thank you. Whoa. Oh, it's so it, and what's popcorn. on that popcorn, Brian? Uh, 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 cookie dough. Cookie dough. Oh, sprinkle the cookie dough. Melted, sprinkle the cookie dough. So this it just is sticks enough. PlayStation VR Theater. Theater. This is the Midnight Games Cast. We record every Tuesday afternoon at midnight. Then we bring it to YouTube every Wednesday as the weekly wrap up. Yep. Yesterday. Yesterday. So long ago. So fucking long ago. So many games to talk about. Mm-hmm. You know, for all the games that came out, I don't think we talked about too many of them. No, I don't think <laughs> so. That even happened. Uh, every Thursday is PlayStation VR Theater. Theater. And every Friday is Viewer Takeover when we let you, the little game cats, <laughs> let you take over the show. As always, my name is Brian Paul, and to my right, your left, the king of all sofa kingdoms, Jeremy Kingdom. I haven't done that in a while. No, I can't no, no, do it with my other hand. I can't do it with either hand. I, I can kind of, kind of. Uh, there you go. Like it hurts. Like I can't. Uh. Yeah, I can't with that. Hand. That's all. That's a mangled hand, anyways. I can't. You just held it up, and it looked like a like a prosthetic. I can't open it that far. Yep. It was like that yep. accident. Yep. If you if you're unfamiliar with Jeremy's accident, he did a whole litter box episode about it. Long time back. And if you don't know what the litter box is, then you don't give us a dollar a month on Patreon.com/slash Without Parole Games. Yep. Wow. Snapchat. 
Yeah, just sending dick pics. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> so many coming in. Uh, literally. <laughs> Is that it? Coming in what? Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, boob pics. <laughs> Is that, it? No. Uh, Is that well, what they say? Is there any other reason to have Snapchat? You send me snaps all the time, right? You're the no only... No dicks. No, but you're the only person that's on my Snapchat that I'm getting wholesome Snapchat <laughs> from. <laughs> I didn't realize it was used for other shit. Oh, that's like, all... What do you think it started from? Oh, I don't know. I always thought it was just to send funny things or whatever. Yeah, more now than before. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No. Now, now, like, now, like, people's moms and stuff use it. But, but before, it was like just a way for like teenagers to send dirty pictures to each other, and then they'd disappear. Oh. No, no trace evidence. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> how, how do we? What, what's happening? Uh, so if you want to send your Snapchats, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, that's a thing. Um, make sure, but, but yeah, uh, this every week on PlayStation VR Theater, Theater, we, we sit around and we watch trailers of upcoming PlayStation VR games. Mm. Now, if this is your first time watching Theater, then please know one thing ahead of time: we haven't watched these trailers. No, we literally, did no research because when Michelle's not here, fucking nothing gets done properly. We don't clean our room. Oh. We don't eat. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so um so we're just we're just gonna mystery science theater three thousand the crap out of these things. We're gonna yeah. watch them for the first time. We're not gonna really I, I only I got a little bit of information on one game. Yeah. But for the most part, we don't know anything more than you do, and even more likely, you know more than we do. Oh yeah. Right? So feel free to contribute in the comments, but don't give us a hard time. Yes, please don't. Yeah. Um I feel like we're missing something. Um, B Tribble, the B Tribble shout out. Oh for yeah, every single one of these trailers. Thank you, sir. You're doing God's work. Absolutely. Uh, because again, we don't prepare for the show. Can you imagine how long it would take me to go hunt down uh, trailers to watch? Remember, if, remember in the beginning. Yeah, remember in the beginning when we didn't do PlayStation VR theater and it yeah. actually took like a three hours to make a video game true and false list. If you don't know what video game oh, true and false is, then wow. go. I, I don't even recommend that they go back and watch because holy crap. Those, some of those old episodes. Some of those old episodes are really rough. Really, I haven't. Yeah. This is our hundredth episode of the Games Cast, and yeah. I've got to say, don't go back before like eighty-eight. <laughs> it's been <laughs> not good. too far back. It's been good for about twelve episodes <laughs> maximum, and I and I honestly think that episode one hundred, the one we're on now, yeah, I think we just, I think, I think that's this is where it stops. We're gonna, right, we're gonna say everything from eighty-eight to ninety-nine was pretty damn good, yeah, and now we're on a uh, decline. Down, yeah, down curve, pretty much, yeah. All right, so uh, thank you, B-Tribble. And if you guys, if there's any trailers you want us to watch and make fun of um, and, and price inaccurately uh, in the future, please leave in the comments uh, hashtag trailers. Trailers, yeah. yeah is that it? Trailers. I think it is. Yeah, we should, or is it? I don't know. Just write trailers in the comments. We don't, Something. We don't I really, think it is. I don't really care. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. No. All right, so what is the very first trailer that we're going to watch this week? Jeremy. Conrad the Kitten. Awesome. Yes. Well, and, uh, and this game is coming out very soon, so if you like what you're about to see, well, then you don't have long to wait. Uh, so here we go. I'm oh, good. I'm excited for this one. On your mark. Say on your mark, and I don't think it's popping up. Oh, God damn it. Your mark, get set, go. Rated e. Everyone. I don't approve. No, unless you're no. 12 or right. under. I do not approve of games that are okay for everyone. I want there to be yeah. violence Ooh. and sex and nudity. That's creepy. Are you holding it, or is it just a giant fucking kitten? <laughs> it does look like he's, like, doing the Godzilla walk, didn't yeah. he? Oh, yeah. Oh, how creepy. That is very creepy. Um, oh, how adorable. There is something wrong with Conrad the kitten. Like, there is. The, the, the character model himself does, never seems quite right. Well, look at him. He's moving lethargic. He's not very kitten-like. Probably because he's terrified what this fucking owner's going to do next to him. Look at him. Right. Put him in a balloon. Do, do, do cats take baths? I don't think they do that. You just and eating a bucket pizza? of water. Wait, wait, just my kind of cat. Healthy. My kind of cat, though. W look at this. Is that mice? Yep. Is it just infested with mice? Now, wait, what is this? Is what the, is this? This is even something a cat can do. Oh my god, that is a magical kitten. <laughs> oh, now he's a fucking asshole right. too. He just was flying. Now he's a dick. It's a cat lateral damage. Duck. Oh, he can do everything. He plays mole. Whatever they call that. Whack a mole. Whack a mole. <laughs> Whack a mole. <laughs> It's like this is what are we, we're taking a tour of the option screen. Is that what? It's almost terrifying. This is insane. <gasps> That's crazy. Right. So you can actually attach the move controller to like a plush doll, like one of your own, like at home. Yeah. And it'll change the orientation of the cat on screen, so you can actually like pet the cat and feel it in your hand. 
So when you're moving around, you can actually it feels like you have a cat in your hand. Weird. It's extremely weird. Is that why the thing is so lethargic and it's just creepy? Pretty much, yeah. That's, Look at that. It, you have Godzilla cat. People are gonna take this too far. You know what they're gonna do? They're gonna attach it to their real live cats. I can see them. That, game cat sending a video. <laughs> that's scary. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, the people are gonna be weird. But you know what? Some cats don't mind. They'll just hang out. Uh, but you, you're moving it around the whole time. Like, I know it's not gonna like it. Conrad the kitten. Wow. I'm kind of feeling bad for Conrad and all the kittens out there. Who came up with this? Oh, uh, well, his name's Conrad. Uh, I guess so. He, he he works at Fusion Play. Yeah. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Yeah, so this is this is this is different. new. This is totally different. Totally different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, and it's so. From what I understand, mm -hmm. I have played a limited amount of this game. <gasps> yes, Brian. Yeah, um, it's like it's it's very Tamagotchi like, right? Okay, it's very Giga Pets like. Mm -hmm. Are there any other imitations I'm forgetting about? <laughs> um, but yeah, you're supposed to play it for like 20 minutes a day. This isn't like something you like invest like hours and hours and hours into all at once. Mm -hmm. And like, and, and that's and that's what you do. Like you, you, you do, there are mini games. You, you see, you pick up your cat, and, and like it has like a little thought balloon, and it like it has needs and desires and stuff. And it's like, oh, what wants to be fed? It wants to be bathed. It wants to do this. Oh, it wants to play a mini game. You play mini games, and you like, you know, you actually you control the cat in the mini game. Okay. So when the, the mice are running all over the place, you you you, you slam it like very whack a mole, like yeah, like with one hand. So if you don't. Your cat is just your move controller in your hand? Yeah. Yeah. Weird, right? Yeah. It seems strange because, like, I'm like, if there's a Tamagotchi uh, type game, then, the, like, what I what I want is, I want it to be like Nintendogs, mm -hmm. right? Where it's its own thing, its own being. Yeah. And then you're like, and then you throw some food at it or something, and, <laughs> you know, you, you hang out with the cat, but what it feels like is that you are control, you're there with the cat, but you're controlling it. Weird. Right, and cats... It seems really strange because cats are not controllable in real life. No. Like they just do whatever the hell they want to do. So this the whole concept seems strange. But in fairness, it's also kind of adorable. Ah, yeah, yeah, I guess so. But it is. It's like it's like we were saying. It's like when the the mother orangutan fails to acknowledge its baby's dead and like kind of just hangs around and like does things with it. It's sad. Wait, wait, that's I, a real thing. It's happened. Not all of them do this. It's not like some weird thing that oh. We're, Monkeys when they die. But some orangutans are in denial. You could Google it. It's pretty sad. You probably don't want to see it. No. Nope. Yeah. No. Hashtag Brian cries. I've seen it on, <laughs> on the National Geographic specials way back when. You know, it would happen when somebody was filming. Okay. But it's you know anyway. So I feel like it would be like that. It's like you just tossing around a fucking thing that's not doing anything at all. You're making it jump at mice because it's yeah. dead in your hand. Yeah. I don't know. It could be adorable. I guess you will have to say it, it. It does fall somewhere right in between. Like it's it's not super adorable to the point where I'm like I can't wait to go see Conrad today. But it's also not like disturbing. It's it's in, or it's like a little fun, but not like crazy fun. Um, there are a ton of like so you take all the, the rewards from doing well in the mini game. Yeah. And, <clears throat> and you go to the store and you buy accessories for your cat. Oh, you get, like collars? Like I think I don't know. It's like hats and sunglasses and all sorts of things that you wouldn't normally put on a cat. Yeah, um, I've only seen like four or five of them. So okay, who knows? Playing whack a mole with your kitten—that must be weird. Yeah, so you're supposed to like put put Conrad in a position where he can slam it with his right paw. Oh, right? so you kind of like here you go, Conrad, hit him. There you go. And that's, and oh. that, that's what you're supposed to do. But instead. If you're like me, you're like bam, 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 bam. bam. <laughs> you're just you're just taking the cat and like yeah. literally hitting the mice I with if it. the cat makes noise? It's like rawr, rawr, no, rawr. no, he's totally unaware of everything that's going on. They really need to make a patch. <laughs> yeah, you know where we'll make noises, ragdoll physics. It does warn oh. you not to throw the cat <laughs> because then you're throwing your move controller. Move control, so that's it, true. So it's less to do with Conrad's safety and more to do with your safety. True. Or no ragdoll physics. Safety. Yeah. Uh. All right, so Conrad the kitten's out anytime now. Um, it's uh, it's it's silly, it's adorable, but it's also it's, it's probably pretty cheap too. That's the, that's the goal at least. Let's hope. What's the next one, buddy? It's VRFC, and that stands for. I have no idea. I know you don't because I didn't tell you. <laughs> it, it stands for virtual reality. I bet you could have figured that one out. Uh, yep. Football club. Oh. Yeah. I saw, uh, was it a breaking news? It was indeed. I did see it. And this. it's coming out sooner rather than later, so this is one of our last <coughs> chances to check it out. Hit. Let's check it out. It's 
so strange. Peggy Having the weirdest problems today. Did it come out of the trailer? Peggy 3. I've never seen that one. It's usually like Peggy, what, 7? Peggy 12. Peggy, Peggy 13. 12. I don't know. We're watching it like this. <laughs> Cherry pie. <laughs> yep, it's soccer. It's totally soccer. Um, but people people have been asking for a long time. They're like, when, when are we going to get a real sports game? Uh huh. And I'm like, I was thinking, I was like, I don't know if that's even possible. How the hell did you do that with a couple of move controllers or a dual shock? It's like, eh. Yeah, this, I guess, is the one game I would wonder how they would do it. Because it's feet. It's right, way more feet than, than hands. Mm hmm. Like, I could totally see, like, a baseball game. That makes perfect that sense. That makes total. Well, you know, not a lot of movement, you know. Yeah. So it's swinging and pitching. <laughs> it was almost terrifying. It it's, was. Like, blah, blah, blah. it's like Rayman the VR <laughs> sport. Coming soon, uh, and actually, it's coming. Uh, it, it it uh, it's coming next week. Oh. So uh, it's coming the twenty seventh. Hey, you know what that is? The day before, I mean, the same day as Moss. Same day as Moss. Mm. And yeah. the day before, Jeremy's birthday. Oh. Yeah. Damn. Mm -hmm. Holy crap. I'm getting old. There's a lot of birthdays going on around there. Yeah. Yeah. Who else is? Uh, a friend of mine, Alex. He's uh, he's actually February February 29th. Oh, he was a leap year? Yeah. Yeah, I, I missed it. Yeah, so he's like four years old. <laughs> yeah, nice. Um, Happy birthday, Alex. That, that can't be right. Yeah. Math. Is he going to get a pony? Uh, I think it'd be seven, right? Well, how old is he now? I can't guess. I'd be guessing my age times uh, divided by four. He's like 12. I have no idea. No. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> virtual reality football club. Mm -hmm. Are are you a sports fan in any sense of the word? No. No. Did you? You seem like the kind of guy that would played would have played soccer growing up, though. No, I played baseball. You did play baseball. I did play baseball. I did play year basketball. Didn't enjoy it. I did play a season of soccer as well. So I was right. Just one. Just one season. Just one. You know how many more seasons of soccer that is than the ones I played? Probably one more. A whole season more. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. How the hell is this going to control? I don't know. Yeah. I have no idea. Yeah, it's it's so you definitely uses two move controllers to get around. Yeah. And that that's kind of the extent of what I know. Do you just kind of like where you move kind of just automatically the legs hit the soccer ball? I don't know. It's like cause, I mean Sprint Vector taught us that like, you know, like locomotion with two move controls like in an active setting is totally possible. Mm -hmm. But like but but that is like it was so much about you know, swinging your arms to gain momentum. Wait, what? so do you think this game is your feet that you move in almost like sprint vector and you can kick like that with it? Because that would make more sense. I mean, the hands are just free movement on their own. I mean, technically, right? Why I mean, Why wouldn't you just be moving your feet? Yeah, and it's you running and you churn, you know, and then fucking kick the ball and that would make more sense at the angles you can hit. I don't know. Do you know or am I... No, no, no. I have no idea. Oh. Yeah. That would make sense. Then I could be like, oh, that's how they do a soccer game. Now I'm almost assuming that's exactly how it's going to control. We had a lot of comments, and, and somebody was even like, Brian, you need to t submit this to a developer. You know, like so, something along the lines of like like uh, like straps, where you could like strap the move controllers to your feet. Okay. And then like make a football game out of that, you know, yeah. and, and like force people to turn the camera down toward the ground. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't like the sound of this at all. It's a um, lot happening. Yeah, turn your camera, aim it down. Right. Yeah, that, that is a lot. So like um and but I, but to that person's credit, I could totally picture playing that game with a dual shock mm -hmm. 4 to run around and then using your actual feet to kick. Yeah. I was like, oh, this is kind of everything. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We're using every control scheme we can think of all in one game. They would open the door for so many people trying to blame them for <laughs> the strap didn't work, it flung out. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And so you are going to be holding the move controllers, and that's as that's as much as I know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm not a sports fan, but I am curious about this. Like this makes me this makes me want to play the game just yeah. because I'm like, well, let's see how they're doing it. Yeah, I mean sports games can be kind of fun to play depending on the sport one. Yep. You know? I mean, that might be. And it's 4v4, so, you know, it's almost as good as uh, Honor and Duty. <laughs> and uh, and the goalies are com controlled by the AI. Because, uh, I mean, I guess, I don't know, does anybody want to be the goalie? Yeah. In real life, I know people that love being goalies in, in sports. But, like, I, I think in a video game, it's just a lot of sin. Just, just, yeah. Like, Come on, guys. Come on, hey. I want to do something. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, is that all I know? Oh, it is. Luckily, it's crossplay with the vibe and... The rift. There we go. So yeah. yeah, so immediately day one, there's definitely gonna be people playing this. At least fourteen. At least fourteen. Yeah. Uh, and then I think my 
It's only it's only the third trailer, but it's my favorite one of the week. Oh, you, we're not we're not pricing these things at all. Oh. How much do you think Conrad the Kitten's going to be? Oh my god, that's either I'm feeling five ninety nine or seven ninety nine. Um, I'm going to go seven ninety nine. All right, I'm saying eleven ninety nine. Oh my god, Brian. Right. Jeez. Yeah. I don't know. They, I, I want. Uh, hopefully, I can get a review done. <laughs> I don't, I don't, <laughs> can you beat the game? I don't know. Yeah. I don't need to beat it to review it, though. No, that is true. Yeah. Um, and plus, you know, <laughs> game cats, <laughs> right? Conrad the game cat. Yeah, this. I know. Yeah, that's true. So it, it, it all makes sense. If I don't review it, I'm doing something wrong. Uh, <laughs> Virtual reality football club. How much do you think this is going to be? Oh God, nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, I'm going to say fourteen ninety nine only because. Why? Just because of the graphical style, like the 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 character models look very simple. Yeah. The field, I mean, it's a, it's a grass field, right? That's true. I'm gonna say this this was probably made on the cheap. It's made by the same people who made Sports Bar VR, Candy Pop. Oh, really? Cherry Pop, Cherry Pop, um, and Cherry uh, Pop. And I think that game was like twenty bucks. So I think we're in the right wheelhouse at least. All right. Okay. We shall see. And then my favorite one of the week, which is not the last one, but my favorite of the week, uh, mm-hmm. is called Happy Manager. As B Triple eloquently said, oh no, not another one <laughs> of these games. So, this looks phenomenal already because because <laughs> I don't have any idea what's going on. There's Japanese text everywhere. Yep, totally. Girl staring at you seductively. Yeah. How old do you think she is? Uh, at least eighteen. You you'd hope so. Yeah. It's probably unlikely. Oh no, really? I'm guessing. Japan, man. Japan's the fucking best. That's. <laughs> <laughs> She's in room 101. Oh my goodness. And in room. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> and in room. Some other room. Right. What's that? What's her face from uh, fucking... Uh, Lollipop Pop Chainsaw? No, I was thinking Final Fantasy thirteen. Oh. Snow's girlfriend. I'm forgetting her name. I don't know. That, ha- the, that virtual hottie. <laughs> would have required me to play Final Fantasy thirteen. Oh, you didn't play? Nope. No. No, I st- the last one I played was... Oh, come on. Twelve. She did the... The, the duck face? That thing? Yeah. I don't like her already. That's annoying. Oh, what's happening it's here? It, in the heart. It's an FPS oh. heart. <laughs> What the hell is FPS? I, it's not first-person shooter. The, no. The, that, that, that was nudity. I missed the nudity. It was covered. Rewind it. FPS no. covered it up. I'm like, um, so you think there's actual nudity in this game? Wow. Who knows? Yeah. Happy manager. What do you think? Who? A hotel? We're managing a hotel with managing a bunch of hot ho- girls. That's, a ton of them. That was nudity? Room numbers. Yeah, that's why the room numbers. Okay. FPS. Heart. I, I don't want to guess on air what that can mean because it's it'll get graphic. But um, I think you should get graphic because I can't think of what it could possibly mean. I don't know. It was the only thing other than the name Happy Manager that was in English. <laughs> yeah. Right? yeah. There weren't Japanese characters. Yeah. FPS, heart. It's yeah. not frames per second. It's not first person shooter. No. Yeah. Those are the only two FPS I know. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Fucking pussy simulator. Wow. Wow, Michelle, please come back. You're, I told you I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> Okay, um, I bet <laughs> maybe no, that's what it is. I bet Known Sagacious was a big fan of that one. <laughs> All right, so he knows it's true. Um, this game looks super pervy. It wicked looks pervy. Right, this this is this is kind of the game I wanted Summer Lesson to be. And going on my streak, it's it looks like a pretty good game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like if, if if Summer Lesson had been more pervy. Mm-hmm. And it actually like introduced like some kind of romance instead of like you know just me tutoring this girl. Some FPS and and yeah FPS heart. Or heart, heart FTS, yeah. Um, I would have liked it more. I'm okay with admitting that, like, you know, I'm going to be hanging out with a cute chick. I want to, like, you know, do something. Yeah. Yeah. And this and this does say at some point during the trailer, you know, romance or something like that. Yeah. I'm like, good. Fantastic. Romance. You laid it out for me. Right? Hmm. What's, what's the ultimate goal? Who cares? <laughs> you know, he has he's, he's some girls in a hotel, and, and we're going we're gonna to try to make this fun. Yeah, right? Uh, they gave you their room number. Yeah. Yeah. All three. Can you look like you can invite all three to the room at the same time? Same time. Yeah. Huh. So Not maybe, if she does that whole. So maybe it's maybe it's sticking out no, a hotel thing. manager. Maybe it's a threesome manager. If you're like directing the threesome. Right. Or if, I mean, if it's if it's all three and you, it, now it's just a fucking orgy. <laughs> yeah. Right? Really. Because they don't say foursome. I don't think. 
could that be what the F stands for? Foursome. Four person sex. sex. <laughs> <laughs> there you we figured go. figured it out. The four person sex. Yeah. Heart. Because one of them is going to fall in love with you. All of them. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> is, so interesting. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say I'm going to say uh, forty dollars <laughs> 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 because they can probably charge it because people will probably yeah. buy it. I'm going to say twenty nine ninety nine. Okay, so you're saying thirty and I'm saying forty. The title yeah. looks amazing. <laughs> Either way, we're all getting screwed. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> um, definitely my pick of the week. But <laughs> we still yeah, one now more I can understand go. why. Ridiculous. The Wizards, close to the Fred Savage classic, The Wizards, so, starring Christian Slater as well, and Bo Bridges, and that other kid that's career never went anywhere, and that girl that was from Little Nevada, Reno. Anyways. <laughs> you know far too much about The Wizard. I do, really. All right. I just startled myself. Let's go. On your mark, get set, go. <laughs> Carbon Studio, makers of such classic hits as... <laughs> I don't know, actually. That was the VR. Unreal 4 engine. Prepare for adventure, Brian. Looks definitely like this is a regular game and then also coming in VR as well. <laughs> yeah. Because that looks incredible. It does look incredible. Yeah. Um, oh. It's, it's at least a social screen, if nothing else. What is this? Hmm. This is looking pretty cool. This is looking actually pretty sweet. And master your wizardry. Look at this. Oh shit, Brian. Right? I mean, like, talk about feeling powerful in a game. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, cards? Is what? it? Is it card game? Or collecting? I don't know. If you collect and then you play the game. Yeah, that's how you. Yeah, those are aiding to your stack of magical abilities. Maybe. Maybe. Does it look like you're moving at all when these things are happening? You're standing still. It looks like in the trailer you're standing still, but I did I did research this one because I was so curious about it. So mm -hmm. I do have some more information. Nice. That yeah. looks pretty sweet. Looks pretty sweet. Yeah. So it, Get it is now. Oh, currently available yeah, on imagine. PC VR. Okay. And what I know about it, yeah, is the following: Carbon Studio uh, made Alice VR. Uh, mixed reviews. Um, I remember that name. It only it, it it's only going. Uh, the Wizards only cost twenty dollars, nineteen ninety nine on Steam. Wow. So temper you know your expectations. This is not the full fledged sixty dollar game you might think it is. Okay. Uh, they're calling it action adventure. It certainly looked it. Spell casting with hand gestures. Oh, that's pretty neat. Yeah. Is that what those diamond swipey kind of gestures were? Yeah, I'm I'm hoping that that was like. Preparing you, like, or teaching you, like a tutorial. It's like it's like, in like, in like to summon the wind, do this, you know, and like, <laughs> uh, right? Don't get, yeah. don't fuck it up. Yeah. Um. And uh. In in all of those, there are six element based spells. Okay. So I don't know if that just means there's six spells to learn, mm -hmm. so six hand gestures to learn, or just based off of the elements from there they branch off. Are there only six elements? I, I thought there were only. I thought there was only four. I thought there were only four. Dark as well. and light. If they add those, oh hey, that, there you go. If they add those yeah. into RPGs. Now you're thinking. Yeah. Uh, each of the skills or each of the spells are upgradable. Mm -hmm. So that's cool. Sweet. Because I'd hate, I'd hate to like you know throw thunder gaga at somebody and have it be the exact same spell at the end of the thunder game. Thunder gaga. But that, is that not a Final <laughs> Fantasy <laughs> thing? I don't know about gaga. It's it's one of the upgraded versions because it? it's like thunder and then thundera and then thunderaga or. Some oh shit like that. <laughs> yeah, they. Oh wow, yeah, that's old. They yeah, have. Yeah, like that's said, right. It's been a while. You're right. <laughs> Holy shit. That was, uh, Thunder Gaga sounded it's something. Wrong, yeah. Yeah, it's, oh, it's some G's and A's at the end of it. Yeah. yeah. And I used to be like, is this the more powerful one? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, this one costs more MP to perform. <laughs> uh, it does feature free, full locomotion and teleportation, and just like Apex Construct, nice. interchangeable at any given time. Sweet. So, uh, so even though that looked more like a wave shooter, it did. Uh, you know, this is a full adventure. You're moving around the whole time. This looks incredible. It does look, especially for uh, the price, twenty dollars. Now they say the wizard is wizards. Yeah. Are you jumping out between certain wizards that like work together? Oh, I have no idea. One in charge of one type of element. No, I did. Uh -huh. Do we want to read some Steam reviews? Sure. Do we really? Was that part of... I wonder, too, that was like that bow and arrow looking thing. Was that a weapon or part of your magic? I mean, do you only have magic or do you have weapons as well? Excellent, excellent question. It does look like a, a fucking slammer. Looks awesome. Yeah, The uh, without even looking here... Um, 
I know that very uh, it's very good reviews. Uh, it's what are the ratings like? Very positive, I think. So like most people rated mm-hmm. it very well. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it's got like a nine out of ten. Shit. Oh, and it's actually fifteen dollars on sale. I guess. Wow. This is craziness. Keep, the deal keeps getting better and better. Really. Um. Oh. Early access. Early access. I, 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 what? Literally just checked this and it didn't say early access. So I think it's actually twenty dollars. Um. Let's see here. We've got. Oh, it won a bunch of awards. <laughs> Bunch of awards. All right, boy, this is, this is a long review. That is a long. Review. Okay, so let's let's check the cons because we've said a lot of good things about this. Mm-hmm. Uh, they say low on the content content side. This this might be rectified soon since it is early access and more content is coming from what I've heard from the developer. Um, it's a self contained short game currently, um, but seems more like a proof of concept for something much larger. Okay, I think that's a lot. I think you see that a lot on early access. Uh, this game is fantastic. This game gives you a very solid definition to what a spellcasting in VR game should be like. Basically, the way you cast spells in this game is you use the controller's draw hand motions. Use the controller's draw hand. This guy, maybe not ES. He must have said use the controls to draw hand motions. To conjure gestures. the spells. Yeah, yeah, it sounds right. This is great because the hand gestures are simple enough to keep the combat of the game fast-paced without any hiccups. But they are also just complicated enough to keep you on your toes and keep the game from feeling too easy. Hmm. Yeah. Those are some good cons. <laughs> oh, it's a different review. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Um, he's this guy saying for $20, uh, it's an absolute steal and deserves to be in every VR owner's library. This could be the next big one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so let's hope there's more content coming for you and, uh, and hopefully it makes its way over to PSVR soon. Yeah. That's pretty much it. What's your pick of the week? Well, you know, Happy Manager looks very interesting. Sure does. But yeah, Wizards. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going with Happy Manager. Because <laughs> why not? Yeah, really, why not? Why? I'm not trying to hide who I am. It's for another show. Give me another month yeah. and I'll buy it too. Oh, geez. <laughs> I can tell how your month is going then. Yeah. All right, so uh, what's your pick of the week, guys? Which one of these trailers uh, most intrigued you? Uh Oh, the Wizards does look so good. It I, does. I was, I was jokingly saying Happy Manager, but man, I, I really, I really want to play the Wizards. So. And Conrad, the kitten, is like a train wreck. You kind of just got to look <laughs> at it. You know what I mean? It's really eerie. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll get we'll get Conrad into your hands sooner rather than later, <laughs> uh, and then we can have a. You can see what you really think about it once you've had a chance to play it. Um, true. Yeah. True indeed. So, what was your pick of the week, guys? What game are you most looking forward to uh, of these trailers? And of course, what. What other trailers do you want us to watch on PlayStation VR? That's true. Theater. Theater. Uh, so let's move on because I think that we're running long as always. Jesus Christ, what a long show. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, as always, my name is Brian Paul. That's Jeremy King, and we'll see you tomorrow. We'll see ya. <laughs>